Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Rayman games for the PS3. Rayman Origins isn't just a game, it's art. It looks beautiful and plays beautiful. It's a side scroller with lots of charisma and humor. The game gets challenging in the latter levels, which is great for hardcore Rayman fans. But one thing I didn't like in the game was the grinding. In the second half of the game, you are forced to repeat some levels in order to progress. But aside of this, the game is a masterpiece, with great gameplay, great and responsive controls, and especially, a unique and gorgeous art style. Rayman Legends is incredible. It's Rayman Origins Part 2. It brings new levels and the same creativity Origins had. In this one, you even have levels where you play in pairs, and if you play alone, you have a button assigned to your assist character to aid you solve puzzles. And it's great, it adds challenge to the gameplay as you have to guide Rayman around and watch out for your surroundings, for what's ahead, so that you can call your assist character to solve what's ahead. The game has the same fluidity as the other one. And if you play the game fast enough, the gameplay turns into a musical. And if we are at music, just like in the other one, it's amazing. Now because of copyright reasons, I can't show you how good the music is. But trust me, it's great. Just like the game as a whole. And also, Legends includes the best levels from Rayman Origins, which you can unlock with lottery tickets. Rayman Legends is a masterpiece, just like Rayman Origins. It manages to keep what was amazing in the first one and add more creative level designs and gameplay elements to keep the masterpiece formula fresh. And these are the games made with the PS3 in mind. The rest of them are ports of PS1 titles and PS2 titles. And from the ports, the first one to mention is the original Rayman game, which came in 1995. And I recommend you play it, but beware that the game is very tough. Enemies attack you from nowhere, the game has a lot of secrets, but it's very rewarding if you get past the levels. But as I said, beware that the game is very difficult. Rayman Arena, also called Rayman M, is a pretty bad racing game. It has an original idea, they made them race on foot instead of cars or carts, and since they race on foot, they made the levels like an extreme military course, with stuff to climb on and stuff to jump on, but the game isn't well made. The level designs are poor, you get stuck pretty often into something in the level. And aside of races, you have battle arenas, where you collect power-ups and hit your opponents. The power-ups are unfair, there are two categories overpowered power-ups and unuseful ones. My recommendation is to not play the game. It feels unfinished and in the rough. If you want to play this game and have a GameCube, I suggest you play the GameCube version. That one is like a remastered version of this one, with better level designs, where you don't get stuck into everything, better graphics, and in the, and in the battle stages, you get hearts and a timer. The game is pretty average, it's not broken or anything, but it doesn't hook you. And it's interesting that the level designs are annoying and great at the same time. I mean, they are creative, but running through them doesn't give you a positive feeling. You know they are inventive, but it, it just isn't that fun to run around in them, in the racetracks or in the battle arenas. And even if the challenges are diverse, you do different stuff like time trials, races or collecting stuff on the track. But still, I don't know, the game didn't hook me, I consider it average. Rayman 2, The Great Escape, on the PS2 is not the same version as on PC. The PS2 version came out later and is improved. There are more levels in the PS2 version, the level order is switched in some places and the levels have been better tweaked to be more fun. Also the variety in gameplay is big, whether that you get chase scenes or get a different boss battle that you'll have to find out his weakness or just do the typical platforming. The game spices things up to not feel repetitive, it's, it's varied and it's fun and the locales are diverse too. 
I recommend it again. And by the way, I've called it The Great Escape instead of Rayman 2 Revolution because this game is actually a port of the PS1 title Rayman 2 The Great Escape. But when ported on the PS2, it got the name Rayman 2 Revolution, but it's the same game. Ok, it's not identical, but it has the same game formula and story. And if you grew up with the PS1 title, you can play that one too on your PS3. You can download the PS1 Classic off the PlayStation Store. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc is great. It's an action adventure. It's linear, you travel with Rayman, do platforming and get to do some combat. The combat consists of Rayman literally throwing his punches and avoiding the enemy's attacks. You get boss battles in the game, all of the levels look great. The only problem with the game are the camera that jumps on its own showing you a portion of the map mid-battle like hey look this part of the map looks beautiful and you're like shut up I'm trying to fight here. And some of the level designs are hard to jump on especially in the flashy mini game that you'll have to do to progress in the game. But overall it's a great game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.